Welcome back to Just Scribble. Today I am going to ink up my Twisby Rose Gold Eco and show you how it writes and how it looks. As you can tell, I am a big fan of the Twisby Eco pens. I have actually all of them, I think, that they've ever launched. And I was super excited when they launched the Rose Gold, partly just because it's pretty and partly because I think it is a great color or lack of color for an everyday carry with my planner. So I have had this Eco for quite a while. I actually got it um, in the mail the day after they launched, but I have not used it yet. And so I was saving it to show you guys. So as you can see, it has rose gold on the clip and around the rim of the cap and also the nib is rose gold. So most of my Ecos are in stub. That is actually my favorite nib size in them because I can use sheening and shimmering inks without a problem and the characteristics of those inks really shine and so I find that they are fun to use matching colors to the actual pen so that I have a variety of fountain pen ink colors available to me at all times. But in the rose gold, I ordered a fine. And although I do have a couple of fines in the Twisby Ecos, most of them have been custom ground to something else. And I thought this time it would be nice to get a fine because I think this pen will be perfect for my everyday carry. It will match any planner cover that I put with it. It will look great with black ink, which is my primary ink that I use in my planner. And the fine nib is the perfect size for my planner. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I flush the pen when I first get it, how to ink it up, and then do a writing sample with you. So whenever you get a new fountain pen, the first thing to do is always to flush the pen. It just gets rid of any potential impurities or remaining ink from testing and sampling that the manufacturer uses before they send your pen out. So what you will do on the Eco, since it is a piston filler, is you will turn the knob counterclockwise until the piston comes down all the way to the bottom, and then you will put it in water. I usually do this over the sink, but for videos I do it in a little jar and you will turn clockwise to fill water into the pen, and then you will turn it counterclockwise and take it back out. You'll do that two to three times just to properly flush the pen before you ink it up. So now the pen is flushed and it is ready to ink. So I'm going to dry it off just so there's not a lot of excess water on the pen. You can actually leave it to sit for a while before you ink it up, but it is not necessary. So I am going to be inking it with Diotrementis Document Black Ink. I talked about this ink in a recent Jet Pens haul, and that is the ink that I'm using for this particular pen. So you will stick the nib down in with the piston down here and turn clockwise to suck the ink back up into the pen. You can also use an inkwell if you prefer, and I will do a video on inkwells soon because I have both styles of Twisby inkwells. But for this, I find it easier just to stick it directly into the bottle. Just turn until it's full and there's no room to turn anymore. Set it there, tap your ink so that you don't accidentally spill it. Wipe off any excess that may have gotten around the feed, the finger part of the pen, and you are all filled up and good to go. You can see that sucking it in this way allows it to prime into the feed as well so that it will write immediately. And there we have an inked pen. So I'm going to do a little sample this is a Scribbles That Matter B6 notebook in a Sheet Sparrow Chanted Woods at Eastwood notebook. So even though this is a fine, it is very smooth. It writes nice and wet. 
but it will dry fairly quickly. Blotter paper helps with that. You stick blotter paper in and you close the notebook. It will suck up any excess ink that you have if you want to flip your page or close your notebook before it's actually dried. So I just wrote this. You can see there's barely any smear, so it does not take very long to dry. Once it is fully dry, it will not smear to the touch and it will not smear with highlighting either. So I did a few pen tests just to show you guys how this ink, the Diotramentis Document Black ink works and dries with the Twisby Eco, which is a fairly wet pen. I did timed intervals where I would write and immediately set the timer on my phone and then smudge it with my finger afterwards to show how it worked at five seconds, 10, 15, 20, 30, and one minute. And so you can see that in the first 10 to 15 seconds, it will smear, but after 20 seconds of just sitting, it's barely any smear and at 30 seconds, there's none and it's basically the same as at one minute. And then I did one where I wrote and immediately closed the book with my blotter paper and opened it back up. You can actually see the ink that it left over here. I literally opened it and rubbed my finger. So I wrote, closed, opened it, and rubbed my finger. So basically zero time and nothing smudged off of it. It was the same as the one minute. So this is just, just another demonstration of how blotter paper works and why it is my number one most important, most used writing and planning tool or accessory. So I did those timed tests and the blotter paper test just to show you. And then I also did highlighting tests to show you at 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and one minute how it worked with the mild liner and the clean color dot over it. As you can see, there's a little bit of smearing at one minute. However, I don't think there would be very much smearing at all if we did it with the blotter paper. So I thought I would test that real quick and just see. So I'm going to write blotter paper and I'm going to do two little swishes. I'm going to close the book. Then I'm going to open the book back up. You can see that it took excess ink off of there and we're going to see, make sure I don't have any excess black on my marker. It has less smearing than it definitely does at these times. So I think if it sat for a few minutes, it would not bleed. So if I did that, for example, these have been sitting for a few minutes, they don't bleed at all. So it will not bleed with highlighting and marking over it after it has sit. And if you use blotter paper, it will speed up that time quite a bit. I also thought I would show you real quick what the rose gold pen looks like with my planner. This is my everyday carry. This is my Stalogy with my Ollie clip and my hand stitched leather tee cover. And that is what the pen looks like with my planner. I can stick it where the rose gold shows or I can stick it farther in the pen loop and it will hold just fine with the closure. It looks really pretty with my planner and I'm super excited about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. And don't forget to just scribble.